We're back with another AFC South team record prediction. Today we have the Indianapolis Colts and this team might win the division. So right now I have them at three and one after the other videos we have done. So I had them winning week one versus the Texans. Week two, they're on the road versus another division rival versus the Jaguars. Honestly, give me a Jaguars upset here. I don't know. Give me, give me a Jaguars upset here. I don't know. Division rival. It happened last year in week 18 when the stakes were the highest, when the Colts needed to win the most to get into the playoffs. So give me another Jaguars upset. I don't know. I think Trevor Lawrence will be much better this year with an actual head coach. Then we have the Chiefs on the road versus the Colts. That's a Chiefs dub. Then I had them winning week four versus the Tennessee Titans, the other team that could possibly win this division. Week five, they're on the road versus the versus the Broncos. This is a tough stretch right here. Give me an upset. Give me an upset. I don't know. I don't know. It's Thursday since it's Thursday night. I don't know. I don't know. Give me an upset. Anything can happen on Thursday night. It's those short weeks. You don't know. Anything can happen. Week six, they're at home versus the Jaguars. They're going to take care of business here finally. Week seven, they're on the road versus the Titans. Going to give the Titans the win there at home. Have them split the series this season. Then we have the Commanders on the road versus the Colts. I really don't have the Commanders winning many games so far this year. But no, I was going to say let's give them the upset. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Commanders fans. I can't do it. Then week nine, we have the Colts on the road versus the Patriots. Whew. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. I feel like this Colts team does match up well, though, with the Patriots. Give me the Colts dub there. I don't know. I'm just not like super crazy about the Patriots this year. I don't know. Week 10, the Colts are on the road versus the Raiders. I'll go Colts W there. Right now, I have the Colts at 8-3. and three. Then we have the Eagles versus the Colts. Ah, I think, I think the Eagles could possibly win this game. I don't know. I'm going to give the Eagles a W. I don't know. I feel like the Eagles could really make the playoffs this year. I don't know. They, they, they added A.J. Brown. I feel like they had a really good draft. I don't know how to feel about the Eagles this year, but I feel like they could, they could surprise a lot of people. Then we have the Steelers playing the Colts. Let's go with the Colts here. I don't know who's going to be playing quarterback for the Steelers at that point. The Steelers defense is really good, but I think the Colts are an overall uh, better team. Then we have the Cowboys playing the Colts. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know with this one. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. I mean, they don't have Amari Cooper anymore. CD's got to be that number one. CD's really good, though. Ah. Give me the Colts. I don't know. I don't know. Just give me the Colts. That's a tough one. Minnesota at home. I'm going to give Minnesota the win at home. I don't know. They're always just like an average team around 8-8. Eight and eight. Oh, not 8-8 eight eight isn't a thing anymore. But, you know, like around 500 there. I, I feel like they're, they're going to win at home this late in the season. I feel like they just do that. Then the Chargers are coming to play the Colts. I have to give the Chargers the win. Colts on the road versus the Giants. That's a Colts win. And then week 18, I had the Colts taking care of business in week 18 versus a division rival, unlike last season. So let's check out how the Colts did. So the Colts have an 11 and 6 record. They're 5 and 3 at home, 6 and 3 on the road. So they had a better record on the road than at home, and they're 4 and 2 in the division. So I think if you're a Colts fan, you would take this because I think 11-6 and six can win this AFC South. This AFC South is not very strong, so I think you could win the AFC South with an 11-6 and six record. But if you want to see who wins the AFC South, make sure you watch the rest of the AFC South record prediction so we know the final records for all these teams and we can see how I think they're going to, you know, go in the standings. So make sure you guys check out these other record predictions up here. Appreciate you watching till the end. Peace out.